Hello there. Hi, it's me. <clears throat> Hi. We've got work to do, even though it's a work all day. It's one of those times where you work all day. It's like you wake up and you work, and then you get breakfast and you go to work and you work some, and then at lunchtime you come home to do some work, and then you go back to work and work for the rest of the afternoon, and in the evening you leave work and get some food and go home to work some more. Um, sometimes those, those, uh, those don't just happen. Hi, I'm Scott, by the way. So we got to work on heat. TwitchCon North America is coming so soon, and we got to add some heat features. So a stream or two ago, I tried to remember how things worked and kind of remembered and kind of decided that the general plan of uh, mobile version of Heat was a bad idea. And I came up with an alternate plan. But understandably, the people at Twitch didn't want to do my alternate plan because they wanted it to like... Uh, my alternate plan was to like have a separate microsite rather than use the heat extension while at for, for people at TwitchCon viewing this particular event. I'm not making any sense at all. I don't know if I've explained this well. There's going to be a thing at TwitchCon that uses heat and they want some changes to heat. And one of those changes is mobile support for people that are there. Um, but the whole point of heat is that you click the video and Twitch mobile extensions don't let you click the video. Sad story. Um, and so I have an alternate plan, I think, I think, which is um, a weird mobile grid version. And maybe we'll make it configurable through this heat, the Twitch configuration show. I don't know. I don't know. First, let's just, hi, it's me. First, let's just make a grid. So let's, uh, where did we, what are we doing? We did do the hosted thing. How does anything work? Um, yeah, we don't want to be in hosted mode. I want to be in uh, non-hosted mode. But maybe I can't do that right now. This is the thing we got to figure out. I thought I, wolf. I thought I had code for this. And then I thought I was going to use it. And I even remember saying like, oh, maybe I'll use this somewhat day, but seemingly I deleted the configuration thing. I mean, okay, so we need to, um, it would be cool if there was a button I could push that would just like take me to the project. And maybe that was the button. Hmm. Okay, now this is where we set the intention to not show any keys on stream that I'm not supposed to show, even though I do that all the time. And probably there's some key in production that I meant to change that I accidentally showed on a stream. Probably. Um, okay, I have an extension. It's called Heat. Let's manage it. And it's Heat version 0 0.2.0. Right now we're in hosted. I think I need to move to local test. And I think that by pushing that button, I can now push this button? Yes. And now I can run this. The whole deal being so I can view these views that will be the extension. So right now these are real clicks and I should see, oh, I still have the heat sequencer running. Yeah. So these clicks that are going through, you can see appearing on the stream because they're just like if you clicked on the video. And actually if I click the video, the double click thing. I thought I had a solution for that, but apparently I don't. It's not ideal. Don't double click. Uh, <clears throat> don't double click, I guess. So that works. This is what we were working on though. This disaster. And it kind of almost works. It's kind of almost okay, but it's just not very good. So, we have this version, which is basically just exactly like the click dude, not you, um, this is basically identical. Yeah, video overlay JS. So, we have that. I don't know, I don't know if I should even keep it though. I don't know, I don't know the answer. So, because what we probably need to do, actually, let's just start on it. Let's uh, not just duplicate something in Visual Studio. Come on. 
Okay, fine. What are you called? Mobile? Mobile.js? Mm -hmm. So there's not a ton of code here. Essentially the thing is you click somewhere and that click gets turned into coordinates. <gasps> Draclin, you're here to do the thing. Draclin, you are out of control. Five month subscriber, five gift subs, VIP member, gold star flight academy, uh, star alliance member VIP. Wait, did I say five? No, I'm sorry. You're five gift subs, 14 month subscriber. Excuse me. You have so many, you have so much flair next to your name that I read it incorrectly. I'm sorry. Sometimes this thing happens when I'm streaming that I've noticed there's like a, the process up here that is, there's the process that is like the talking process and it is not the main process. It's uh, like I have too many other things up here. And so the thing that the, the, the stuff that's coming out of my mouth is not as well considered as I would like it to be. So I should apologize. <clears throat> but it's just how it is. It's like you run a stream and you're like trying to do stuff and trying to be sure you're streaming and make sure you have nothing in your teeth and make sure you close the bathroom door. You know? Should you hit it? You could hit it. So I said, all I did was set cooldown to zero, which maybe will work. Um, but you could try. You could try to hit it. Maybe don't hit it with 10,000 to start with. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what's going on, Draclin is in the chat, and he's going to help me load test this by uh, DDoSing me. But I don't... I assume heat's still working with the cooldown turned off. Oh yeah, yeah, the token thing. Unfortunately, I don't even have a way to like give you a token because the token comes from the... Uh, was that you? Who did that? The token comes from the little extension dude, so I... <clears throat> without building in some horrible backdoor... Oh, it was your token scooper scooping me. I see. Uh, okay, as I was saying, this is almost okay, but it's not okay. And so the minimum alternative would be, uh, at least what I said in the contract, at a minimum would be to try to give buttons as a, a grid. I, I don't know. I still don't know if I love this plan, but I had to, they, they were not, uh, the people I'm talking to at Twitch are, are very kind, but they were not, uh, they didn't like my super vague wording in my initial contract. So, hey, sometimes you can say like, hey, I'll just make a cool thing. And sometimes people are like, okay, yeah, cool. Make a cool thing. Is that you? Are you playing cool jams? How, how fast is this? What's the throughput on this DDoS that's happening right now? Oh, I, I see a little drawing happening. It was very slow, meaning you sent it slow or it actually executed slow? There shouldn't be too much latency in my world wait i'm sorry you so what what rate did you send so that was a thousand clicks over how much time you sent as fast as you possibly could so i don't really do anything basically as soon as i get a click i immediately stick something in redis and immediately send it to anybody listening. 
it took eight seconds? Because when I click on the screen, well, I mean, of course, you're, there's going to be a ton of Twitch latency, for sure. But, but, I mean, are you, do you have this page open so you can, you can see data as it comes? If you open this page, you'll get the data as it comes. Because, of course, the video is going to introduce a ton of latency. Am I on the same page here? Picking up what I'm putting down. Um, okay, so I need to make some buttons, basically. Basically. Doo -doo. How do I want to generate these buttons? I need to just start working because I don't, my brain's not working very well. Had a long day. And uh, let's just. Oh no, I need life. Oh, where's life is yours? I gotta do some stupid like grid, grid stuff or do this as a table, which he would love. Cause I need like a flexible grid. I need a gr flexible grid. That's gotta be a table, right? Like what's the best way to generate that? So whatever, for now we'll just do let's just start getting stuff that we can look at. Yellow. Yellow. What am I doing wrong? Oh, ha, 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 ha. I got to get back into uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript land because I have not been doing that lately at all, at all. How do I do that cool thing? I just pick colors in here. I thought I clicked something and got a color wheel. Oh, weird. Look at that. What a fancy thing. Okay, so I want like a hover. Is that how you do it? And that'll be a little brighter. And then is it active for click? Okay, I have a button. Terrific. Draclan, did you go to jail for DDoSing me again? So I need some dumb JavaScript to just make a bunch of... What's the right... How do people do this now? Grid of divs. Like, what's the current... It sure looks almost like a table. Um, can I use? Grids? Grid layout. What do we think? Can I get away with this? Kind of depends on what render engine. I'm assuming on the Android apps they're using the Chrome WebKit, and I assume on iOS they're using Safari because you have to. So I'm just going to assume that grid is good, but it could be bad, like in an older. This is kind of weird. Like, what about previous versions? Does this mean it was always supported, or...?
This makes me a little nervous, though. Like... Oh! Well, it's Chrome for five. That's weird. Why is there no history on these other things? I thought that you could do... Ah, uh, how does this work? Am I safe to use grid? Okay, let's just start with grid. Where's life is yours when I need him? No, I don't like this. Okay. So then do what? Is this really I need? Grid item actually doesn't need anything? Grid container? I don't love TSS. I mean, presumably you have to mark up the item in some way, right? What's going on over here? This is beautiful music you're writing. Grid template columns. Is this really going to work? This has this is just like feeling like a thing that's not going to work. This has the feeling of some web nonsense that's just not going to work okay kind of it's at, at, you know at a glance looks like it's gonna work uh but here's the thing though i want to like fill it i want a full height I feel like I'm getting myself into something. I feel like I should just use a table. Perfect. I put that in the wrong thing. Okay. Well, we got some buttons. How does this interplay with this? Is this still valid? No. Maybe if the box sizing was different. Man, I sure don't care about CSS. I don't want to do this like this. I feel like this is just setting me up for failure on some kind of devices. I feel like I need explicit rows and explicit columns.
Okay, so this actually seems to be the right height. Maybe I will stop the sequencer. <laughs> Jacqueline, status report. How's it going? You're jamming out? What's your, uh... Oh, that's a lot of clicks. How many clicks was that? Ooh, that that one seemed like it stopped halfway through. Sequence is struggling. Okay, what am I doing? Really, uh, not a lot of variety in the song we're working on, right? Okay, so you're all good. That makes you the full thing. How do I make like just be explicit about the height. It's a little annoying, but maybe that's, you know, I would just like set. Whatever. And then when I generate the CSS, I'll just figure it out, I guess. So those guys would be like this. And then these guys would be Something like that. I didn't work at all, did it? Uh, like kind of almost. Looks like I have some kind of margin or padding somewhere. Am I getting this extra width? How many? What are we talking? How, how many? <laughs> You're killing me. Uh, how many clicks? How many clicks are we doing? Dealing with here? I guess I could make some kind of like throughput visualizer. Um, what am I doing? Why doesn't this work? This is this a dumb margin padding thing or something? Oh, work. Where's that extra space coming from? Where's this coming from? Is it this dumb thing? The dumbest thing in all of HTML? The fact that I have a line feed? It doesn't seem like that. Every 10 milliseconds. Yeah, I'm not super concerned about bursts, but so if 
you sent one click every millisecond, that'd be a thousand clicks per second, right? What is the problem here? I don't feel like I can properly debug this though, because how do I even view this? Oh, I get it, yeah. So you could send t like one every millisecond, or like you could send 15 every millisecond, and that would be what, 15,000 clicks in a second, right? I don't know if you'd be able to even send that much data that fast. Okay, what am I doing? Why doesn't this work? This is annoying. Can I can I actually view it? Um, where's that dumb window? Where's the dumb window? Dumb window. Hello. This dumb window. Is there a way for me to just look at this in a browser? I can't remember if it will let me do that. Yeah, you. Why? Where's this space coming from? Man, I sure don't miss HTML nonsense. Where are you coming from, little space? Is it the row? Is it the row? What is your deal? Where's the thing where you can see like the, uh, yeah, this thing. Where's that extra little dude coming from? This little extra gap. I only have two things. Where is that coming from? Let's just make sure there's no margin padding anywhere, nothing. Get rid of this. You do not like my fractional. Where's where's that space going from? Is it really this? Is it really this thing? How do I save this without formatting? Just because I want nicely formatted code. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, we have some dumb buttons now. What a dream come true. How's it going over there? <clears throat> I 
Maybe all radius. No? Or? How am I going to get space for these? If I add padding, it's going to mess up the... Padding's going to screw it up, right? Unless I do the box sizing thing, whatever that thing is. Not padding margin. How's this work? Been too long, box sizing. Yeah, this padding and border are, but not margin. Eh. Wayne. Okay. Oh, CSS, you're so annoying. Okay, so. <clears throat> we'll just make a grid cell and put them in there or whatever. That's where we will actually do this. And then grid buttons will just be, yeah. What did I want? Box sizing, I forgot. Box sizing border box. On the button itself, you can be a block. Maybe. Oops. Wrong thing. What's the cool shortcut? This? Mm -hmm. Wait, how did I select some things I didn't want? I click too many buttons? It's not just shift, shift alt. What is it? But that picks those. I don't want that. Oh, it's just control. Okay, now this is going to be great. It's going to be totally worth it. I'm going to do this. Copy this. Paste this. Type this. Do this, do this, 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 this. Almost. No, we did it. Yeah, great. Okay, then we just have to make these with height 100. Almost. Oof, oof. That's 
That's too much. That's too much. Killing me. Killing me with that one. What was that one? Uh, why didn't this work? Why did my padding... Do I actually need the padding here? Is that the whole thing? You need to be here, and you need to be here. And this doesn't matter. Why is this taking so long? Just make some dumb buttons? Okay. Okay, now I just want to do this procedurally, and then terrific. <clears throat> so... Oh no, what language is this? Oh, pardon, pardon me please, I have an important call. Okay, what am I doing? Draclin's still making noise. How's it going, Draclin? What's your status report? Status report, please. Okay, what do we have to do? We have to draw these procedurally. We're gonna do, I is gonna be, well, why don't I call these Y and X? How about? You can send a lot at once, did you? Like, give it to me straight, how bad is it? Do I need to be? Do I need to build some metrics viewer for heat that shows throughput or something? Like shows how many clicks per second I'm getting. Quantify a lot. How much is a lot? Okay, we need to what? We need to get. I gotta turn off. The Oh, where is it? Why don't I just do something else? Like, uh, something we don't have to hear. We just feed the baby a lot. Oh yeah, I could mute the tab. That's fair. But I want, I want to know what's going on. It looks cool and it draws. We want to feed the baby? Wait, didn't we do one that actually puts stuff on the screen? Like hearts or something? Oh yeah. Didn't I do one that puts heart? Not just hearts, but like Scott made this hearts, like like the logo. Oh, the kiss, kissing booth, right? Oops. But I thought, um, I thought I did another one that was cool. Sprites? Oh, it was the markers, right? To like place map markers. I still thought I did one that had like...
Little Scott made this logos or something. Um, okay, let's change this to this one. Oh, but that's one marker per person, so we don't want that. Okay, what's your, what's your preference, baby or kisses? I thought I did another fun one. Baby, I'm gonna feed the baby. Isn't there some other one that I did? I don't remember. Okay, feed the baby. Okay, we have stupid buttons now. Right, then we're gonna procedurally draw them. What's it called? We'll just do the main thing for now. Main. Okay, so for every row, I don't remember how to do this. Oof. Can I just set the parameters afterwards? Class list dot add. Same thing for the cells. And then also Baton. Whoa, what? Oh, wow. That's beautiful. How, uh, how many clicks is that? What is, the, the baby is never, that's 3,500? How, how much time? Over how much time did you spend 3,500? So here's here's the thing. They they said to expect fifteen thousand viewers. Um, I can't imagine that more than ten percent of those viewers will actually engage, but I want to test at fifteen thousand viewers. Like if fifteen thousand viewers clicked in one second, um, I would just. It would be cool to know. Yeah. Uh, 
So 15,000 in a second is going to be a little crazy. How are you going to do that? Are you going to send like... 15 per millisecond for one second? I mean, at a certain point, it's probably going to like bog down my computer for some other silly reason. Like by drawing too many uh, snacks. For the baby. The baby is hungry. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you for your help with this. It is greatly appreciated. Um, okay, then we're gonna have the cell div. Add the button div. The cell bones. No, button div. Add and then append that cell div to this. I almost certainly screwed that up in some way. Okay, get rid of this beautiful thing that took so long to write. Okay, what did I break? Um, mm -hmm. Of course I broke something, it's fine. I don't like working in JavaScript anymore. Kind of over it. 60 or 70. Wow. So you spent, you, you, oh, you just sent them as fast as you could and it took you that long to send 3,500? Is that what I'm understanding? What do you think is this? What do you think your bottleneck is? I mean, that's a lot for sure, but what do you think is? Slowing you down. Processor or network or? I mean, you don't, do you don't wait for a response, right? You just send out the, so that's 3,500 divided by 2.45. So that's, that's 1500 a second. So that is if 10% of people, if 10%, if there's 15K viewers and 10% of them click, uh, then it seems like that's actually okay. Which is probably realistic. Maybe, to, I don't know. I don't have engagement numbers. So I guess I would feel better going higher than that, but it may not be an easy thing to do from one machine like one internet connection i wasn't paying attention to see if my stream stuttered or anything but hopefully they'll have a robust down down link i did see their so their recommendation twitch has documentation on load testing by using Locust and then uploading Locust to a bunch of AWS instances and then trying to essentially DDoS yourself, which is maybe the way to do it to get like hyper intense throughput. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Oh yeah, that seems silly. Yeah, don't do this. Why would I do this? What? So, oh, I guess you don't do the periods when you do the add. That makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, to set the width. <sighs> anyway, I can get eight buttons. Uh 
So I need to do like row div dot style dot height equals times 100 plus percent. I don't know, is that right? Yeah. And then, uh, same thing for you, jerks, the cell div, grid X. Well, that's a way to get some buttons. They're kind of dumb looking, but. That's a way to get them. Um, I still don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I feel like this is the, this is the plan. But, gotta do something. Is this better or worse than oh, that wasn't good. How's it taking me an hour to make some stupid buttons? Falling apart, falling apart over here. Okay, so this is one approach. Let's look it in some modes here. It's gonna look pretty silly like this. Pretty silly indeed.
But I don't have to I don't want to have to deal with separate orientations. I thought they had a way to like view different phones. Okay, Draclan, are you there? Can I get an opinion? Whoa, look at the baby. Okay, here here are my two options for this. I'm gonna clear the baby. Okay, I either um, heat Either heat mobile. Um, let's comment that us this out for a second. Is a weird thing where. Sorry, I'm gonna get to where I can show you something meaningful. Okay, so either heat mobile is a weird version of heat where you're watching the video over here and you click here and then the clicks just get mapped to this which is not a great experience. Like for clicking this sequencer, it's like such a, it's such a guess. This is definitely the easy thing to do because it's basically done. It's basically just the exact same heat logic. It's just on a view over here and you just have to understand that it's mapping to a video over here. I can't draw over here at all. Um, and then if I change the browser orientation, it's also weird because now it's mapping this huge area to just this. So that feels bad, but it's really easy. Um, alternatively, is this idea of adding, making like heat mobile kind of it's a first class citizen alternate version of heat where you just have a configurable grid and it will go to a different endpoint. It will come in as grid clicks it, it, it's like a different, it's almost like a totally separate extension. I mean, it's, it's, it's different extension functionality that heat will give you on mobile, but it's just going to be a weird generic grid kind of, um, which it's up to the experience author to make it do anything. And in this case, I would basically say, um, it, when grid clicks came in, I would just say like, oh, when you click this, you're, this is the next beat, the following beat, the following beat. So the idea is you're always clicking just ahead of the beat, but there's not going to be like any text or anything over here to tell you what's going on. Like it's a pretty weird thing. And then you got this going on, on the, ex, you know, out in extension land while simultaneously you've got what's actually going on in the video, like it's not, not great. Yeah, but I can't, I can't do that. So unfortunately the way extensions work, you can't do, you can't touch the outside world. Uh, more or less can't touch the outside world from inside of an extension. So the one thing I could do, like the one, okay. So the ways you can, you can talk to the, I'm not even sure if they would let me like grab and show an image. Like they're pretty strict about everything that's going to be shown being part of the extension. The exceptions to that are, um, 
Well, you can do a configurable back configuration backend thing. I wonder, like, I wonder if they would actually let me. Can part of the grid's design be a background image? I don't actually know if they let you talk to the outside world. Like, I know you can't like open links, like have links or anything in there. It's inside, like that is a super sandboxed. What, what I, so I made that grid, but that grid is generated at runtime by the extension view on the device. It's not like, like it's, I, I may be incorrect, but I believe everything that, essentially everything that's gonna appear on the screen has to be part of the extension. Now that I say that, that doesn't, I feel like that's what the docs say, but that doesn't sound right. Cause if you're doing some kind of like game related thing, it seems like you'd have to pull in image assets. Hmm. But even then that's problematic because the extension like, how would I do that? Where would I set the image? Because the the front end of heat is totally agnostic to what the back end is. Um, I guess in the configuration service, you could point it to a URL. So there is the... Uh, Twitch configuration service. Is that what it's called? I can't quite remember. Whoa, how many clicks is this? That was, that was 3,500 in one second. That's pretty good. Okay, let me clear this. You're gonna try 10,000 in one second? Okay, 7K. Uh, it seemed like it stopped. It seemed like it broke. <laughs> it crashed. Okay, but okay, you were able to spend 3,500. So that is like, a bit more than 20%, if more than, a bit more than 20% of users did, which is not bad. Twenty-three percent, close to a quarter of users. It's not bad. All, okay, all front-end HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files used by your extension must be included. must not inject directly into the DOM any data obtained dynamically over Ajax without first validating and processing that data. Okay, so it does seem possible that you can drag things in. So, okay, here's the problem though. Even if I could have a background image, like what would it be? Because I wouldn't want to make a background image that was like the entire grid of the sequencer squished into a tiny, I don't know that the background image, I kind of like that idea, but one, I don't know if I'm allowed to, and two, I don't know if it fully solves the issue here. Um, I mean, 
realistically, the thing I said in the contract was at a minimum, you'll be able to click a grid of buttons. So like kind of this is the minimum thing the contract said. Uh, so just if saying there's no, no custom background, no custom interfacing at all. It's basically either you can click anywhere on a blank area and it remaps to the screen, or you can click on an arbitrary grid and it has to have like new functionality. What's the lesser of two evils there? Because neither of them are great. Well, I mean, unfortunately, mobile kind of has to be a second class citizen because the whole point of heat is that you click on the video and if you can't click on the video and i told them you know i went i i, I feel like i was pretty clear about that that it's a limitation of twitch extensions and one of the suggestions from their end was something like a grid like this so Whoa. I think I just had to move forward with the grid because it's like what's it's what's here and it feels like not a ton of work. It's definitely some work for sure. Um, can I do this? I don't remember how this works. I just super, like, how does this even work? Is this what I was doing? Um, That's not the right syntax, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Okay, so that's a local version of, uh-oh. Oh, I need the local version of Redis. Do I even still have that anymore? Whoa, that's a lot of babies. Do I still have that Redis that I was using? Is my computer still working as you do this? Seems, seems okay. What are you, uh, what's this, what's the rate you're sending? Well, I mean, eventually it's probably too many strikes, sprites for Pixie.js to render, I think is what actually died. But that wouldn't be a problem with the sequencer. Shoot, did I get rid of the Redis client that I was using? I don't remember what I used. You sent 14K over how much time? Like heat map should stand up fine to that because heat map doesn't Heatmap doesn't care. Rita server I used.
Okay, I'm ready. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. It's so much heat. It's so much. It's so much heat. Is there? Are you just spewing clicks? How many clicks is this? What's our What's our click throughput? Did it break? Oh no, you, did you stop? Did you crash or are you just done? Fourteen thousand sent over thirty seconds. Not bad. Okay, I got Redis, I got all this stuff. So if I now connect. Heat Mobile. Point that. Here instead. Nice. Draclan, thank you again for your help. Okay, so. I'm going to say, like, kind of, oh, did you crash? It kind of seems like this thing is holding up. The server banned you? What did it say? Uh, okay. I know I badmouthed, um, I know I badmouthed AWS a lot, but... I'm kind of impressed that this is holding up this well. I think on a single Heroku hobby node, we would not be, this would not be holding up. See what the bill is. I still haven't spent the thousand dollars they gave me, gave me. So, but yeah, well, yeah, God, that's true. Oh, there is a thing though. I do have auto scaling. I wonder if it's scaling to, could, auto scaling could be happening. But I only was scaling to four baby, like I'm running on like the micro instances, the tiniest. Um, let me try to sign in. Uh. Health, okay. New version. What is this? Okay, here's the CPU usual utilization. Man, CPU U CPU utilization only at eight percent. Draclin, come on. Here's requests getting up and close to fifteen thousand. Yeah, this network is the this is really the most inefficient part because it's big old JSON blobs. I hope they don't charge me a lot of money for that. Kissing. These are all independent requests. I'm not, yeah, the requests are, I'm not worried about because like the, the hitting the like, hitting hitting a web page a bunch of times, that, that's, that's pretty easy. It's more the, this side, this end, that has me a little concerned, but it seems like it's doing okay, right?
15,000 kisses? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have had this up. Average randomness will sort itself out. Probably. You're probably right. I still am kind of tempted to try to do a proper locus configuration. Um, hmm. The thing I want to see is if I like have kicked into, because like, how can I know? Yeah, capacity. Like, how can I know my current capacity? Because I have this auto scaling group. And based on, on throughput is what is supposed to make it decide. It's still at one instance. You didn't even trip the load balancer. We haven't even been load balanced. It's kind of impressive. Um, what, so what, what do you think is the limiting factor on your end? You think it's CPU or you think it's a uh, network throughput? Network. I'm trying to think of a good way to test it. I mean, the locust is a way that I could just have some burly. Burly stuff happen. Okay, so maybe I want to do this. Maybe I want to do... and essentially just have a whole new flow of logic. With a whole new endpoint. terrible idea like send the XY width height yeah the world doesn't want healthy people I don't know if you saw this latest obesity map um, so this is a thing I don't know like uh, the world lies with the statistics all the time. <coughs> Excuse me, but they're so like so easy to misrepresent. Um, misrepresent things. Actually, this this one's maybe even a little better. Uh, it's just funny. Like it can be the same map and the same data, but then based on how you color it. I'm trying to find an example of what I'm talking about. I just saw. Yeah, that one's even still misleading. Mm. I mean, anyway, the general gist of it is Something like this, where uh, where it's like, I mean, this one's semi-reasonable, but the 
like they show a green to red range, which you normally think of those as like full ends of a wide spectrum. But then when you actually, and I see this all the time for this kind of map, it's actually not that wide. The variation between green, the low end of green, and then the high end of red is only 15%. So you look at this and you're like, oh, good job, Colorado and Hawaii, you're green. But then it's like, oh, well, actually, 20 to 25% of your population is obese, which is one in four or one in five people. That doesn't sound so great. And it's not really that much better than the places that are marked. I mean, I guess my point is it's horrible everywhere, even though this map kind of implies a wide variation. Like it's a relatively narrow but variation. Although oh, man, Mississippi and West Virginia, almost 40, which is almost double Colorado. It's pretty intense. It's rough. It's a bummer. Food is trash. You can just cannot eat. Don't eat food with any ingredients. If, if food has too many ingredients, just uh, run away. Okay, so the, here's the thing. We would need an entirely new endpoint, which would not be very hard. Because I think all that is pretty easy. And we would just do this and send a new payload that would be even bigger and slower than our previous payload. And that would look like on the back end service. I'm glad I wrote this like this. I did a pretty good job, turns out. Um, but it would be essentially, yeah, validate all that stuff. This is actually not true. This happens here. That's sent to all the socket IO people. This actually could be an opportunity for me to get rid of the socket IO support. Should I ditch socket IO support as part of this? Okay, so Essentially, I would just duplicate this. And it would be a new kind of thing called a grid. X, Y, what height? What I'm not, uh, the, the worst part about this though is that it means natively no heat extensions are gonna support mobile. Oh, look at my beautiful validation. I gotta do all this again for width and height also. Oh, wait, this is not right. No, these don't have to be normalized. These just have to be numbers. All of these, in fact. Well, they can't be negative. So X and Y both have to be positive at a minimum. So everything has to be a number. X and Y need to be greater than zero and width and height actually have to be greater than one. Oh, 
Okay, so we got width, we have height. We're gonna do it as grid. I don't, I really don't know if this is the best plan. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. X, Y, width, I like to have more confidence than this in the thing I'm building. Is this a bad idea, Draclan? Am I doing this all wrong? X, Y, width, height. X, Y, X cannot be less than zero. Width height cannot be less than one. And there's definitely more validation I could do here where X and Y have to be greater than, or, or can't be, they have to be less than width. Like, Oh yeah, no, well, I mean, my imp implementation wise, I don't know. I mean, I'm more worried about implementation. I can, whatever, will be fine. I just conceptually, this whole grid idea versus just clicks. Like, is it, my three options are this treat it exactly like heat for desktop and you just click on the screen and it gets mapped to the screen and it's crazy nonsense, but it just works and it's one-to-one. -one. That's one end of the spectrum and it's definitely the easiest thing to do. Far end of the spectrum is heat mobile is entirely its own thing and you have this grid of buttons and you click those buttons and probably config configure the button layout and the clicking of those buttons is treated totally different than clicks. Like they're totally different. Maybe there's a middle ground where it's rendered as a grid, but it still actually gives click coordinates. But I would need, I would want to know that. I would want to know, um, on the broadcaster side, because I want to say like, oh, okay, a mobile person clicked. I don't want to factor in the whole screen. I just want them to click in a very specific place. That's probably better. Um, the limitation of doing it like the web client? I'm sorry, what do you mean? Oh, oh, make it work exactly like the web client? Just the it, mobile extensions, uh, Mobile extensions are a custom type of extension that is not the, the, where you can't be over the video, essentially. Like mobile extensions have to be either next to or under the video. You can't click on the video. So it's just a fundamental limitation. And I express that to Twitch. So like the core, yeah, the core limitation here is a Twitch limitation. And I'm, if I had to guess, it's because they have some limitation because I know that playing video on iOS, for example, sucks and it's hard to deal with. So that's that's maybe why. Mobile support is a requirement for, yes, to fulfill this, this agreement. And even when I said like, hey, it's gonna be a compromised experience, either we should build a separate thing for mobile users at the event, which they understandably didn't go for because for marketing purposes, it makes sense to have it all as an extension. So like inside the Twitch app, in other words, like to keep people in the app. So I understand that. Um, I said, but I basically said like, either it's gonna be compromised or we cut it. And they seemed to go with compromise. And I, I can understand that. I mean, there's a certain perspective, I guess that any engagement with your platform is better, like directly through your platform is better than none. It just won't look totally like the sequencer grid, you know, like it's gonna be the same height probably. I mean, in fact, it may be more confusing because the problem is the sequencer grid is this giant long thing. And I can't reasonably in either of the views in either of the aspect ratios I have to use, it's not great. Like this is the aspect ratio of the video 
showing the sequencer and then this is the area I have to draw in. So like, I can't, it can't be one to one. So my thinking is like, well, maybe I'll just do, I, I might not even do this eight by four. I might just do eight tall skinny buttons. And the idea is like one of those buttons means you're voting only for the next, the next step in the sequence. That's my current thinking. That's what I pitched basically is like at an absolute minimum, you will have eight buttons that will let you vote for, or that you'll have buttons, one button for row uh, of the sequencer and you will be able to vote for the next thing that goes through. Okay, I forgot what I was doing. But yeah, so this should be functional now. I just need to make those actually do a thing. Well, I thought about that, but like you don't have, you wouldn't have any real relationship to this thing. So you're looking at this thing over here and yeah, I mean, that, that's the, but then I'm like hard coding the size of that grid in maybe, maybe it really is a grid. I mean, that would essentially still be building what I'm building. It's just what you're suggesting is that it would scroll or not scroll. Um, which is, which is a possibility that's, that's not exclusive. I mean, that's not incompatible with everything I'm building. It's probably a little harder, unfortunately, just cause web stuff's annoying and web stuff in a restricted iframe in an app is annoying. So being able to drag that around and click, um, but the general idea, it would sort of be like a forced, a forced zoomed in, like where essentially you are always only dealing with the next note. That's the simplest version I could think of. Um, I've been streaming for an hour and a half and I have not actually accomplished anything. So let's try to actually accomplish just one thing in mobile JS, which is wait, I already did this. I just need to actually call this. How did I do this? I forgot how to do it. Oh, wait. What do I do? Oh, I could do all this crap. No, I don't actually, I don't. I definitely don't want to do that. I need to just do a button div on click, send grid, and then grid X, grid Y. Should have called those width and height probably. Props? Um, I mean, the, they'll like, Main problem with this whole thing is I have a lot of, I have a lot of work to do on the sequencer demo itself. Like that's the whole, that's really what the job is. And so I can't get too hung up on heat features. Cause there's like, there's 20 hours, 20 plus hours of work just on the, the sequencer. I don't know if this will actually be correct at this moment. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Should be seven, seven. 
No, three seven. Zero, one, two, three, yeah, Y seven, okay. Yeah, the code on the sequencer, is, they wanted quite a few new features, like the ability to control, some of them aren't too hard, like control like tempo and stuff, which is easy. To select keys and scales will take some work. To have some more instruments will take some work. To have a percussive instrument will take some work. There's just a lot of like musical features because the whole thing is they're going to have some game composers playing live, which is cool, like playing, like accompanying it. So like for this, the thing that is going to make this good, like, so realistically, the like heat interaction part is going to be chaos, right? Of course, because it always is like with that many people, 15,000 people, even if only a subset of them are using it, it's just going to be total chaos. And so the thing that this is going to kind of live or die by is, uh, that's weird. What did I do? That doesn't seem good. It is by the sound features being cool. Huh. That's weird. What did I? But that's even not, that's for just classic clicks. I'm getting over this weird error. I don't know what that is. Wrong number of arguments for the set command. What did I do? Do I even talk to Redis directly? That's pretty weird. I mean, I did just like randomly, I can't remember what, uh, huh. I can't remember what Redis client I was using before. I think it was this one though. Ron, I'm running through the set command. Does that mean this is Redis version 2.4.5? Is that ancient? Oh, maybe I'm like, maybe that was really old. What? You're telling me I shouldn't just download random? This says... Uh, Windows. You can download a moderately out-of-date pre-compiled version of Redis, 32-bit and 64-bit for Windows. How out-of-date? Oh really out of date. I didn't notice this. Okay, well, maybe that's my problem. Maybe I can find one made in not a thousand years ago. Okay, this one's three years ago. <laughs> Oh, I could do Windows set system for Linux Redis, I guess, right? I haven't done that in a while. Let's do that. How do I do that? I forgot. No, nope, not that. Do I still have that installed? This is probably a bad idea. That's my sudo password. Okay, let's try to get a version of Redis that isn't eight years old. 
and then maybe we can test this. And it'll be the first validation of the grid-based thing. So here's the, here's the deal though. I wouldn't want to just like hard code a grid, like grid resolution into heat, would I? Or do, is it something I want to configure with the configuration service? Doo -doo -doo. Probably really out of out of date. I haven't touched any of this stuff for a while. How does I wonder how Windows subsystem for Linux like how does it handle kernel updates and stuff? Like in the Microsoft Store, do I download a new version of WSL? I don't know how it works. Uh, how do I see my things? Downloads and updates. Hmm. Well, that's a little weird. I thought Windows Subsystem for Linux showed up in... Oh, weird. Look at all these games that I have. Do I get these from like some kind of Xbox crossplay thing? Celeste? Is this some kind of like cross thing? Okay. Launch, but how do I update? Hmm. I'm curious about that. Like what's the what's the update procedure? Okay, anyway. So okay, hopefully this whatever redis is better. I had a Windows binary that worked though. It may have been that ancient one. It's kind of weird that it used to work, but does no longer. Maybe I ran the 32-bit version. I don't know why there would be any difference. Heat does not respond well to the Rita server being destroyed, apparently. Weird. I wish that was a little easier to debug, but hopefully a more recent version of Redis will make everything happy. All right, Draken, what do we think? Is this thing gonna hold up? I shouldn't have done all this. Hurry up, please. Okay, anyway, we're getting clicks out. We're getting them to the extension backend service. They're exploding now. I guess in the meantime, I could look at the configuration service stuff. What's frustrating is I'm almost positive that I had some code for that. And I think I just didn't keep it. I want to say that was once upon a time it was in here and it was like a callback like this.
Oh, there's an unauthorized twitch.extension.unauthorized. There's also a on context. But there's su supposed to be something that's like on configuration change. So presumably I can have something like this. I did that in mobile, right? No, I did it in video overlay. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh here. Draclan, are you there? Are you gone? Are we gone? It's like the old days when just nobody watched but you. Okay, config changed, so that kind of seems like I got a thing, and then if I mess with it again... Seems like it doesn't get called when something changes. Oh man, I'm almost sure I had this working at one point. annoying it only gets on load so why would they call it on config change if it only happens on load that's kind of dumb right How goes? Oh, I'm just thinking. So there's this configuration feature 
where I could store some stuff like the grid X, Y, like dimensions uh, and update it on the fly so it wouldn't be set in stone. And I was just taking a look at that while waiting for very slow Linux updates. What's the thing? Is that right? Need this server? Oh, let's try that. Um, yeah, so the config service. So here's the cool thing, this configuration on changed, which sure sounds like, you know, I don't know, like a thing that would happen whenever the configuration changed. Doesn't happen when the configuration changed. It only happens when the configuration is loaded. I mean, when the extension's loaded. So that's cool. There's ways around it. You could pub sub and oh, this is just annoying. That means it's working and then I have a Rita server. Uh oh, but which Rita server? Maybe that's the right one. Okay, do these work now? Do I not log clicks? Guess not. Okay. It seems like it maybe works. The way to know for sure would be to go What was my preferred way of I guess that was it. Yeah, going here and then going here, maybe here. So six, six, six plants use app. What app should I use? Okay, I'm getting clicks, which is good. Okay, okay. So now I want to go edit hello. Mm. Okay. And instead of using what's my local? 3,000. Thanks. Thank you. Am I having a stroke? Um, uh, failed. Oh, because that's not a secure socket, probably. How about an insecure socket? Okay, so that gives us that. And then now, uh, 
I'm getting clicks, but not grids. Bad user. What does that mean? Oh, I like sure. Um, oh, okay. So if we're just saying if it's a click. And if it's a grid, I refreshed the wrong window. Clicks and grids. Pretty into grids. Grids are pretty, I'm, like grids are cool. I like grids. Okay. So this will now give me grids. Yes. I don't know why I get a bunch of extra clicks though. I clicked one time. Oh, one's probably from the web socket and one is from socket IO. Yeah, that's right. So we connect to both of them. And that was, this should be zero, zero out of four by eight. I don't know why the height is up here. That makes me uncomfortable. Did it alphabetize my, did something alphabetize my JSON? Gross. Who alphabetized my JSON? Okay, so, I mean, this works. It works, it works. You think I'm misreading it? Did you did you plant a Trojan that alphabetizes my JSON? Okay, well I probably also shouldn't be sending clicks, but let's ignore that for the moment. Okay, that works, kinda. Um, well, what were we actually testing? What's the configuration service? For this, this? I think you're misreading it. Like I responded to something you said twice with a two minute break in the middle. Um, okay, so I think the data we want is stored in here. This kind of sucks. Why would you call it unchanged when you don't really send it unchanged? Why would you do that to me? Probably, probably what? Undefined. Cool. But it's not undefined. Not right. Oh, is this one of those cool things where it's going to be null in the uh, test rig? just to hurt my feelings. Jacqueline's like the old days, you and me streaming, streaming away. You're playing EverQuest, I'm playing grids and sticks. What am I playing? What's it called? Clicks and grids. 
Not a care in the world, except for why. Can I not do that? Do I have to like do some other thing to get the configuration? Ooh, classic wow, how's that going? Returns the record for the broadcaster segment. Didn't I, I'm setting the broadcaster segment. Oh, can't I do something really weird like this? It has a value when I do it inside here, but when I do it outside here, it doesn't. Are you playing that instead of EverQuest? What about our Final Fantasy XIV guild that we were going to start together and be the kings of the world? Okay, so... This sucks. <laughs> uh... So what I'm trying to do is just make this configurable, but I don't know, this is annoying. Like adding the stuff to do this. How many hours did, did it take to burn you out on a request? So I can get some JSON and I could set some JSON, it would appear. It, it, wow classic, even without all the all the clicks and whistles. Expected. Oh,
Oh, that's pretty weird. Because I want... Content. So that's the content of my payload? Okay. Cool. Did you um did you play WoW in the old days? I was just mad at my JSON. I never played WoW. I think I've talked about this. I'm kind of glad I never played WoW because I got so hooked on... Final Fantasy XI. That, but I feel like that, that addiction helped me dodge a bullet. Is this not valid? Oh yeah, of course it's not. Commas, not semicolons. I thought you could do that. I thought you could refer to Yeah, I can't refer to that key like this. Oh yeah, of course. I gotta quote it. That's my whole that's my whole deal. Should I play WoW? The answer is no. I can't be trusted. I can't be trusted with video games that don't end. <sighs> okay, so well, this is a way that I could get X and Y configuration from the service. And that could be okay. That's if I wanted to make it where you could go to the this configuration page and one of the things you could put in here is mobile you'd set the X, Y grid for mobile. And then it would be a little less set in stone. You could at least change it per channel. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but at least now I have the, have the means to do it. Okay, so what have we discovered? Thanks to Draclin, it seems like this thing can kind of take a beating, right? Like, it seemed like it performed okay, and it seemed like it didn't even, didn't even scale, like, which is promising. I would still really like to... Draculin, maybe someday when you're around and I'm around and Life is Yours is around, all three of us could run run your dude at the same time, your application you made, and just try to try to destroy it even more. Excuse me. Um, okay, we learned that. We have a grid generating. We have the potential. We added grid support to the backend service, which I still don't know if I love. And we have the potential to dynamically size that grid. So these are 
This is good news. I mean, basically, I need to make all decisions about what is actually gonna change in the core of heat by like end of day Thursday, because whatever happens in the core, in heat core, has to go through Twitch review and all that stuff. So I don't wanna get, I wanna keep it pretty simple. The craziest thing I might do is the, is the config thing, the allow you to dynamically config that. I don't know if I want to. The grid resolution, I mean, I don't know. Um, okay, well, we made a little progress on a two hour stream, but uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Draclin, thank you so much for your help. Once again, I'll probably have to stream tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day just to do this stuff. But yeah, I got to start getting, maybe tomorrow we'll like table some of the mobile stuff just for a moment to start getting the basics of the sequencer, of the new version of the sequencer going. But that is all for tonight. Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.